Here's a question. Could AI replace standardized tests in the classroom? Schools Chancellor David Banks seemed to suggest it during his annual State of Our Schools address today at Frank Sinatra High School in Astoria, Queens. Education reporter Doug Williams was there and he joins me now here in studio. So Doug, you hear AI and you automatically think, okay, hold your roll. But what does the Chancellor really think of AI and could it really replace standardized testing? To your point, Christine, isn't this hard to fathom? when I first yeah. really know, uh, knew what AI was, I realized this should stay far away from the classroom. Kids are going to cheat. They're never going to read books anymore. And as time has gone on, at least it sounds like, the chancellor's position on it has changed. He's putting together an advisory council, about 25 or so people, uh, educators as well as representatives from companies like IBM and Microsoft. He doesn't know what programs they're going to use, how exactly it will be implemented, but I thought it was interesting. He said to ignore the technology just because it's potentially scary and mm. because it has flaws would demonstrate a lack of vision on his part. And I want to play you uh, the chancellor's own words on how he arrived at the conclusion that AI could replace standardized tests. AI can analyze in real time all the work that our children are producing in school from homework to classwork to unit tests to give teachers a daily, accurate, and comprehensive picture of a child's progress. And think about it. If we're getting that information every day, why do you even need standardized tests? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm imagining what his audience is reacting as, you know, as they're listening him to him say and suggest AI. They're mostly made up, obviously, of educators. So what was their reaction? Well, these things, the state of our schools events are like pep rallies. I mean, mm. it's a very pro-Chancellor Banks audience. He was interrupted multiple times for applause. He got a standing ovation. You could hear a pin drop mm. when he was discussing AI. He did say several times that this is not to replace you. Uh, AI cannot do what you do. Um, and I asked him, you know, after the address, he met with reporters. So I asked him about the fear that it seemed like he was trying to get ahead of with the teachers. They should not be fearful because I deeply believe that AI will never be able to replace the personal connection that a teacher provides and the personal um, counseling that a teacher would provide. It can give you technical advice and I believe that we need that. It's all about embracing the future, but doing it slowly and carefully, isn't it, Doug? That's the goal. All right. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Come